What's up friends? I'm Jasmine and you're watching M&J Games. This is episode 4 of my Manderley Zoo in Planet Zoo and today we are creating an Indian elephant habitat. This is a speed build but I'm going to try and talk throughout the video and like in my previous video I'm going to add some extra footage at the end of the video showing the elephants enjoying their new home. I do want to apologize for being MIA for the past two weeks. Um, I've been working on a contest park for Planet Coaster and wrapping up a class for grad school and the deadlines fell on the same week so I haven't been able to play Planet Zoo for the past two weeks so I'm glad to finally get back into it. Um, so if you haven't watched my previous videos this zoo is my fourth attempt at a franchise zoo, but in this one, I'm trying not to use any blueprints or workshop items. I'm still very new to the game and I've only been playing for about two or three months, probably two months. And I just wanted to kind of force myself to get used to the controls and making my own buildings. If you're unfamiliar with Planet Zoo, Franchise mode is very similar to challenge mode in Planet Coaster. You start out with a very limited budget and you have to research items in order to, pro to progress your zoo. The difference with franchise mode in Planet Zoo is that you can share research and conservation credits with other zoos in your franchise. So conservation credits allow you to purchase animals for your zoo and you can gain conser conservation credits by releasing animals to the wild and training, trading them. Um, so I just created the um, kind of like the base for the Indian elephant habitat and um, I'm kind of going back and just trying to connect a power source. Um, I think that that might be one of the um, hardest things to do in the game is trying to figure out where to place your utilities while also making sure that they aren't too close to where your guests can see them because they do um, lower the happiness for your guests. So, um, so now I'm just trying to place some educational signs and some donation boxes um, and just trying to kind of get some more foliage into my habitat. Um, I will talk a little bit about the Indian elephant. So in my last video, um, it was about the sun bears and the Bintu wrongs. So I had a little bit of um, information in that video about about those animals and I think it's kind of cool to kind of talk a little bit about the animals since this game is about animals so um, <laughs> the Indian elephant is endangered and in Planet Zoo there are two types of elephants so there's the Indian elephant and the African elephant I went with the Indian elephant because it was cheaper than the African one and um, the Indian elephants live in grassland areas and they do like to, they do have a requirement for water. So I made two little ponds for them to kind of um, play around in. And you can see now I'm trying to make a hard shelter. This took um, maybe three different tries because I made it to um, to, like height the height was too low so um, I had to go back and <laughs> I tried to cut out um, some of it so that you wouldn't see me like deleting things and recreating it <laughs> but so I think on so this part right now it's just too short and um, so the habitat was telling me that I didn't even have a hard shelter in uh, in inside the, um, the fence I guess so yeah so i had to go back <laughs> and and expand it i think i think the issue was that i needed to make it um two i guess wait so i guess if if one wall piece is four meters it had to be at least two two wall pieces high i think 
Um, so once I did that, it worked. But that's just one thing to keep in mind when um, you're creating a habitat for a large animal. Because, you know, I I don't know, I was, <laughs> I was just building, I thought it looked, you know, I thought it looked okay, but um, it was just, it was too short for, for my um, elephants. So anyway, <laughs> so um, I looked up some random um, facts about Indian elephants and according to worldwildlife.org, Indian elephants spend 19 hours a day feeding and they can produce about 220 pounds of dung per day. I did notice <laughs> very large dung piles in the game, which I thought was pretty funny. Um, and I think I ended up having two keepers maintaining this habitat because it was a lot of um, doo-doo in there. <laughs> so um, I also, I think the, um, I did have another animal in there. Um, I think it's called the Malaysian tapir. I think, I think that's what it's called. So they can um, co cohabitat, cohabitate <laughs> with other animals. So I, so those little animals in there, um, that's what those are. And they're pretty cute too. I need to look up some facts about them as well. So um, just to <laughs> level the playing field, I guess. So, but I did have, um, I got a large male Indian elephant and I did get a female, but I, I, I think I ended up just getting the cheapest one and she was very small. So she looked like a baby standing next to <laughs> the, the, the ginormous male. <laughs> so, um, I ended up getting another female. I, I'm not sure if you can see, but the the little elephant there that is an adult female <laughs> so um i did end up getting another female who was slightly bigger and um these since these animals are endangered i i knew i wanted to breed them so um so now the uh the male elephant has two female partners so so that's good um, elephants are also one of my favorite animals. I love elephants and hippos are my probably my top two favorite animals. <laughs> so um, yes, yeah, so you can see here I'm trying to figure out what I what I needed to do with my hard shelter because the elephants were saying that they didn't have a hard shelter and the the other animals were like they're totally fine with it. So. Um, yeah, so I had to go back and um, make it taller. Yeah, so um, so I'm trying to uh, figure out what I need to do, and I did end up um, just adding another another layer of wall to make it taller. Um, and still, you know, this is, it's still pretty boxy, uh, but hopefully as I, as I play the game, it'll be, um, I'll make some more interesting buildings <laughs> for you guys. So, but I do love, um, the kind of African look that my habitat has. So, yeah, so you can see here, um, I'm trying to find, I think I end up, I do end up getting another female. Um, so just building the roof, I really like these thatch roofs. Um, I think they, I don't know, I, I guess they are sort of African. Um, I'm not sure if they're, maybe they're African and Australian sort of looking to me, but um, I just liked how that looked. Another thing in the game that I have noticed that um, is, uh, I don't know, maybe a complaint is that you can't, you can't have it on daytime all the time so it does change and there is weather so you can't you can't really see sometimes very well and then I don't know it's just one of those things that I wish that they did have in the game um, yeah so you can see how small my female is <laughs> female elephant is compared to the male one so now um, 
just kind of transitioning a little bit. Um, I'm just trying to make kind of a, a little bit of a separation here on this path, um, which leads to like the main uh, plaza and then it kind of goes up into this viewing area um, that's like a bridge uh, in between my elephant habitat and my sun bear habitat. Um, so I just made a really, really simple um, glass structure. I knew I wanted it to be glass and I, I really wanted the whole thing to be glass, but I ended up using um, a different material on the bottom just because it just wasn't working how I was wanting it to. I think I ended up with maybe, it might be some sort of concrete, uh, I think on the bottom. Um, but yeah, just trying to figure out certain building pieces in the game and um, what I like and what I don't like. This um, this zoo is is kind of a modern modern sort of zoo. I don't know. I'm still trying to kind of figure out like what the vision is that I have for the zoo. So, um, but I'm kind of sticking to like very um, minimal sort of buildings and then um, kind of having some wooden and glass accents to the buildings. So yeah, so it started snowing, so I had to put in some heaters. So I do really enjoy having the different weather um, in this game, because Planet, Planet Zoo does not have that, but hopefully we'll get that on um, maybe Planet Coaster 2. Wait, did I just say Planet Zoo? Anyway, Planet Coaster does not have weather. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to say. Um, so maybe we'll get that feature in Planet Coaster 2. Hopefully, cross your fingers. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm glad I, and I made this little structure since um, because your guests do get cold. Um, and I can't say that I've really been paying much attention to my guests' needs in this zoo. Um, so <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so I, I, I'm, I am glad that I made that. Um, but another thing um, you can expect in the next episode, I do, I, I get another animal. I won't tell you what it is, but I build an indoor habitat and that's my first attempt at making an indoor habitat. And I think it came out pretty well. So That'll be coming up on the next one. So now um, I'm trying to um, exp expand my um, viewing area. So I had to move part of the habitat, the barrier, um, to make room for this sort of path to kind of get closer to the um, to the habitat and it's not the prettiest thing in the world but I'm okay with it. Um, I probably should have done a little bit more planning um, as far as just how that looks because it doesn't look great but I do like the idea of people being able to step off of the main pathway to get a closer look at the animals uh, from above. So, um, yeah, so I, I, I think it's, I think it's okay. And I, I, I did put in, um, an animal talk there. So whenever the education, the, or the educator comes by or whatever, um, they can give a little, a little talk there. And then I just added, um, a little bit of, um, ceiling to go to kind of fill up that awkward space in between the main path and that little wooden, the elevated uh, sort of gallery path. And um, it, I don't think it looks terrible. It's, it's not, it's not bad. So, <laughs> um, so yeah, so it, it does make the habitat seem a little bit awkward looking, but um, I think overall, I think the guests uh, can get a better look at the animals from there, which is, I mean, that's, that's what counts. <laughs> Uh, more so than how pretty the habitat looks, at least to me. <laughs> I mean, as far as the barrier goes. So, um, 
so I, I, I did I tried to copy that little um, archway that I had made and it just I ended up not doing it um, but on the other side I'm kind of expanding this and trying to figure out where to put the power source um, but on that side that's going to be the new habitat for my indoor um, or excuse me my indoor habitat for my new animal which will be in the next episode so um, trying to think what else happens in this video oh I should tell you about the Malaysian tapir let me see so I had never heard of tapirs before um, in this before this uh, game. So it says the Malaysian tapir um, is also called the Asian tapir or the Indian tapir. Um, they are the largest of the four wildly recognized species of tapir, and the only one native to the Old World. This is from Wikipedia, so you know. I don't know how accurate this is, <laughs> but they are endangered and it says that they are easily identified by their markings, most notably the light colored patch that extends from the shoulders to its hindquarters. Basically it has that kind of black body with like a white, kind of a white, <laughs> like half their body is white and half their body is black, <laughs> but they kind of look like a mix between anteaters and like tiny bears or something I don't know um, oh it says the females are usually larger than the males which is that's kind of interesting um, let's see what else hmm they tend to live in tropical lowland rainforests of Southeast Asia, including Sumatra and in Indonesia, Malaysia, Myanmar, and Thailand. Because of their size, tapirs have few natural predators and even reports of killings by tigers, leopards, or dolls, I'm not sure what, what that is, are scarce. The main threat to Malaysian tapirs is human activity, including deforestation for agricultural purposes, flooding caused by the damming of rivers for hydroelectric products, projects, and illegal trade. In Thailand, capture and sale of a young tapir may be worth $5,500. Wow. Oh, but it, it says in some regions they're hunted for sport. Oh, that's so sad. Um, yeah, it's really interesting reading about these different animals. Um, but okay, back to the game. <laughs> uh, I wanted to include this little this little water fountain for my elephants and then I ended up, um, I wanted to make it prettier and I ended up putting um, these kind of log looking things on it and I think I kind of like how that looks so um yeah th there's my first pond so I'm kind of making a second pond and I tend to make my ponds kind of kidney shaped I don't know why I do that I think it just I think I just rather do that than have like a circle um but that's that's basically my habitat um let's see I'm gonna show you just some more of my animals. So here's one of the mama elephants. She's about to have her little baby. I will say that um, in the game, the elephants, their gestation period, or excuse me, not the gestation period, but the period um, until they mature is, I wanna say, 12 or 15 years um, which I, I didn't look at before I started breeding these elephants which is I mean it's fine I was just like 
I was playing and I was like, when are they gonna grow up? So actually I looked it up and yeah, it's, it's quite a while. So that's just um, something to keep in mind um, if you do, if you are planning on um, breeding the elephants, it's gonna take a little bit for them to grow up and mature. So um, just, just fun fact <laughs> if you are um, interested in that. So this is one of my uh, Malayan, uh, Malaysian, Malayan tapirs He's swimming. Um, and I love how even though the animals, some animals don't require a water uh, feature in their habitat, they still enjoy the, the water too and they'll still be swimming in it. And it's so cute. Um, here's another one of my elephants. Um, and I just look at that they're just so adorable I just love them yeah so she's just swimming she's just having a good time <laughs> um, and then I just wanted to show you one of the babies uh, this one's chowing down on some food um, but that's basically the video guys I really appreciate you all joining me um, if you have any suggestions about this zoo or if there are any animals that you want to see in the zoo please let me know and um, yeah and maybe I can include it in my plans um, I hope you all have a wonderful week and I'll see you next time